Okay, holiday gifts. Let's talk about what I would suggest you get your gamer pals. Better get on the ball. Christmas is coming. So says my empty wrist. Okay, so everybody knows that when the holidays come up, gamers want games, plain and simple. But I'm suggesting items that aren't games, but that many gamers might like. Now, none of these items are anything that I wouldn't give my own friends, and most of them are reasonably priced. As long as you like them. So, here's my top 10 holiday ideas for the gaming people in your life. Number 10, virtual console games. Okay, so I said that this list wasn't going to be really games. But come on, giving the gift of games that you like to your family and friends is always an insight of an interesting thing. Every year, I give games to my Wii family and friends, uh, games that I liked growing up. Adventures of Lolo, Final Fantasy 1, and this year is going to be no exception. I'm going to send out another game to all my family and friends from the NES. It makes it personal, and it makes it fun, and Wii Virtual Games right now are not very expensive. Number 9, Laptop Stickers from Signs and Decals on Etsy. Now, I'm not usually one to buy stuff off of Etsy, but these little things are really, really cool. Some of you may have seen the one that I have on my laptop, and I've had it there for more than a year now. They stick on tight and are easily cleaned. Now, they have some images with Yoshi, as well as other gaming brands. There are several places that you can get them from, but I don't remember the place that I got mine from. But I have read good reviews from Signs and Decals, but try this one out for yourself. Number 8, Gaming T-Shirts. Alright, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of self-plugging here, but there are several places that have great T-Shirts for sale. You can get T-Shirts that have LEDs on them, certain games, certain online characters, or even certain internet personalities, <coughs> like me! <coughs> Gamers like to show their support for things that we like, and if you have a gaming friend, then you probably know what they like to play, and can find a T-Shirt that's right for them. Shark Robot, Think Geek, The Game Heroes, Zazzle, you can find many places that have great t-shirts that you might like. Number 7, a portable USB charger. Now this item is higher up on the list because of the expense, but oh, will your friends love this gift. It's a quick charger that can fit on a key ring, more or less. Need power for your PSP on a trip? Don't have one of them car charger thingies and you're almost out of power in the middle of a Kurapeko battle in the Monster Hunter Freedom Unite? Well, just pop this thing in and you get more time to finish that battle toot sweet and save right on up. It holds a charge for up to a year, so the power is there when you need it. Number 6, Proto Men CDs. Now, I'm a big fan of many different video game bands out there, the Neskimos for one, but personally, my honest favorite are the Proto Men. They created this dark alternate reality for Mega Man and have put out two CDs of music, and both are amazingly good. Really, you should give them a listen. If you have a friend who is into music like that, then they would definitely appreciate one of these CDs. And they will be playing at MAGFest in 2011, so be sure to come and see them. Number 5, Fridge Levels from Retro USB. Now, I said that these are gifts that I would give my own friends, right? Well, I got this one for one of my friends, and I have wanted one ever since. They're made by Retro USB and are individual magnets with sprites from either Super Mario Bros., The Legend of Zelda, or Donkey Kong. You can make up new levels on your fridge, or be lazy and just recreate your favorites. Either way, it's 20 bucks well spent. Number 4, Kickassia from That Guy with the Glasses. Kickassia, if you have a friend, buy them this. If you have family, 
don't buy them this unless they like this sort of thing. But your friends, if they're your friends, then buy this. Seriously. Kick Assia. I'm in it. Number three, Geek Soap from Geek Soap. MAGFest is coming up very soon, and I'm really excited to be a panelist there. Come on and see me. But before you do that, take a shower. Really. These soaps are made by Geek Soap, and they look like little cards from your favorite retro consoles. They also have soaps based off of gaming icons as well that you can get. Really, there's a lot of soaps to find, and they won't seem insulting to your friends because they look cool. But seriously, bathe. Every day. Especially in MAGFest. Have some mercy on the rest of us and take a bar of soap and chuck it underneath your arms. Start scrubbing for 30 minutes, then come back. Okay? We'll still be here. Filth. I hate standing online and in front of me, someone smells. And in back of me, someone smells. It's like being stuck in the middle of a funk sandwich. Dirty. Shower. You're dirty. Number two, the USB fridge. Do you have that friend that plays World of Warcraft without ever leaving their seat? Catheter pouch and all? Well, then you're in luck, because you can get them a mini fridge that can hold that one extra beverage of their choice and save them from the exercise of getting their fat, lazy tuchus up and going to the larger fridge themselves. Why, they might not even have to interact with people this way. But seriously, this is a really cool little item, and that friend of yours would really get a kick out of it, I think. And finally, number one, retro ports and retro pads from Retro USB. Now, I'm not just putting these as my number one spot for no good reason. Gamers like to play games in a very specific way. You know this. And what better way to play nostalgic games on your Wii or PC than with real controllers with plugins that plug in either to your Wii or to your USB ports. You can buy adapters for controllers you own, or you can buy them as one piece and save yourself the looking around. Either way, they're really professional looking, and they work like a charm. I own several myself, so these come highly recommended. Now, I didn't put in everything that I kind of like, obviously. If you have some ideas that you think might be really cool non-game items, well, put your ideas in the comments below and put links to the shops there as well so people know where to find these things. So thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on The Pipeline.